Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool Western Electric. It's a 317 wooden wall crank telephone. This is Danny's equipment from West Virginia. And this is the initial checkout of this really cool telephone. It's in very good condition for its age. And this telephone has been in Danny's wife's family for a long time. So it means a lot to them. It's a really cool telephone. We also want to run through a little bit about what needs to be done in our repair and conversion. Now we're going to be installing a keypad in the battery box area. We also want to install a modular line port so that you can simply bring in any length, any color line cord that you choose, bring it right into the back of the telephone and plug it into the line port makes for a simple, easy plug and play connection. Now we're going to be troubleshooting the cloth receiver capsule cord. We also want to troubleshoot the original style diaphragm receiver capsule. If it turns out to have enough audio, we're going to utilize it in the repair and conversion. So we'll try to use it if we can. We're also going to be troubleshooting the solenoids and we know that the bells need to be adjusted at this time. We're going to be upgrading the transmitter. We're going to wire this telephone the way we want it wired to work the way we want it to work. We're also going to add wiring for our circuits. We want to install a circuit that we design and build here at the shop that allows you to walk up to this telephone, crank the crank for the magneto, and ring the original bells, but not backfeed any voltage into the telephone line, and yet when you get a call, the original bells will ring. So we're going to be troubleshooting the entire telephone, and we're going to start our conversion. Now, we're going to do some still pictures of this really cool telephone, and we have a lot of work that needs to be done, so we want to get a start in the troubleshooting and repairing process. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now, and we are finished up with the repair of this really cool Western Electric wooden wall crank telephone. We're going to run through a little bit about what went on. Now, we had to locate 
a crank handle for this telephone. When the unit came in, it did not have a handle. We installed our keypad. We rewired this telephone the way we wanted it wired to work the way we want it to work. We went through the hook switch. We troubleshooted the receiver capsule, the original diaphragm style receiver capsule, and that had enough audio. So we went ahead and utilized it into the design. We also upgraded the transmitter. We went through the bells. They were adjusted. We went through the solenoids. That circuit was repaired. We also installed our modular line port that we're going to be doing a still picture of so you can simply plug in any length line cord, any color that you choose. We installed our circuit that allows you to walk up to this telephone, crank the crank, and ring the original bells but not back feed any voltage into the telephone line and yet when you get a call the original bells will ring. So we went through everything on the telephone. We also want to mention our amplified pickup. We use this in troubleshooting, repairing, and on our final checkouts. It's amplified so that you can hear the audio from a receiver. I have an amplifier back by the video. It has a button on it and when I press the button I can give dial tone or take it away at any time. But since it's an open amplifier it is prone to any static interference or noise in the atmosphere. So if you hear any kind of a staticky hum or an electrical hum it will be coming from the amplifier and not the telephone. Now what we want to do is we want to use the magneto so we're going to crank the telephone and ring the original bells Now what we can do is use the analyzer and send a ring cycle like you were getting a call, so we'll start that. We'll let that go a few times. I'll let it go one more time and we'll give you some dial tone. We can hit the hook switch once like we were dialing a one. I'm going to tap on the transmitter Every time you see that red light light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. Now we've already held conversations on this telephone, so we know it transmits. Now what we want to do is go ahead and open the door, and we want to use our keypad. Okay, now that we've accessed our keypad, if you watch the analyzer, we're going to go ahead and dial out. So we'll plug in the line cord because we have our receiver capsule. Give you some dial tone. And if you watch the analyzer, we'll walk through our numbers. I'm going to end in a two. Now what we can do is we can press this button on the switch box. That'll give us a line out, totally take the analyzer out of the situation, and we can call a time and temp number. Go ahead and access the dial tone. We'll make that call.
we can go ahead and hang up. We can give you some dial tone. We'll call my number and it'll be busy. We'll make that call. We can go ahead and hang up. Now that we know that this really cool Western Electric 317 wooden wall crank telephone has been repaired and converted, we can return it to Danny and they can enjoy this telephone. I'm sure it's going to look great no matter where it's used. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at wwwa one telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.